did you miss me? <laughs> um, okay, so something that isn't being talked about on the news or on YouTube much, which is kind of shocking. <sighs> Actually, most of what I'm seeing on YouTube is everybody finding the same talking points and talking about it and everybody giving their own view, which is like, okay, well, um, you know, basically if it's not on a mainstream channel, then it's an alternative view. <laughs> and it seems like most alternative views have the same idea. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I received an email yesterday stating it was from IMDb, which I don't even know why I'm getting emails from them. I could care less. I normally don't, but I have their app. Anyway, so they wanted to let me know it was on my watch list on tonight, which is a show I don't even watch anymore. But as I was scrolling down to delete, I noticed that uh, this is more about shows on your watch list. Marvel brings, um, that's not the one, Fox quarterly earnings climb as Disney deal looms. And I was like, ah. Because on election night, a lot of people were complaining about the election coverage and they were saying that um, that Fox basically went all MSN and I'm thinking, that's silly, just because, you know, they have to basically say the opposite of them all the time, you know, like why is everyone saying that? And I didn't hear why and um, it turns out... <laughs> It's because they're in the process, 21st Century Fox is in the process of being bought out by Disney. So now Disney is into uh, politics. And in the article, it talks about the owner of Fox, or the person who's running it, being very anti-Trump. And so now in the news on you know mainstream TV, it is mainstream TV, there's only one side now and it's the left and that sucks because a lot of people just still watch tv and believe everything they you know hear and the only people that actually you know attempt to do something different they're all on youtube and even you know like i said their talking points are all the same and the same people get views and the ones that have different voices aren't getting picked up on youtube and youtube is They've even been bought out, you know, like now mainstream's like, TV's like, oh wait, you guys aren't watching this? So let's find a different avenue to get people to be watching because we need people to do this. We need people to keep hearing this one narrative, which is lame. And then if you're on social media and you have a different opinion or a different voice, you're stifled too. And people are so quick to like try to find that one thing that you did that they didn't agree with and they want to label you crazy and, you know, say that your opinion doesn't matter, but... That's stupid. <laughs> anyway, so that is all that my video is today. Is just let's, and by the way, the article on IMDb is from it was from Variety, and the person who wrote it was Brent Lang. So if you're curious, I will put the link in the description, or at least try to, and uh, you can read it for yourself. It's pretty telling, I think, and sad. <laughs> Because, again, there's only one opinion, one voice, and if you're not saying what everyone else is saying, then you're a Looney Tune. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Call me crazy. I'm crazy. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks.